Well, the Healing in His Presence was such an amazing concert. I enjoyed myself in the Holy Ghost. It was power packed and we were dancing and singing, giving glory to God. I just uh, thank God for giving me the opportunity to have been here to minister also uh, in my music. And so uh, had a, I had a great time in worship. We prayed, we sang, we cried in tears and you know, it was just beautiful. Thank you so much for this opportunity to say a word over the program that we just had. It was, first of all, a spiritual program, supernatural program, and excellent program. Uh, my overview uh, perception is, uh, first of all, it has brought a new atmosphere of worship on the Copper Belt, not just in Kitwe, but on the Copper Belt as a whole. Uh, because uh, in attendance, we had uh, worship leaders, praise team members, pastors, and they have learned something, and that has just uh, brought and displayed a new atmosphere of worship on the Copper Belt. Then secondly, uh, the healing itself, uh, as it was dubbed, uh, uh, healing in his presence. Uh, people who have turned up here, some were brokenhearted, some were rejected, some were despised, some had battles and wounds in their spirits. But uh, being a part of this meeting, and, uh, and this program has brought healing to their spirits and healing to their marriages, healing to their families. And uh, what we're looking forward to just immediately after this are testimonies of what the Lord has done. And then lastly, uh, 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 the vessel of worship herself, mightily used of God. You can literally pick her heart before you pick her voice. And uh, what I would say to Miriam and to the team that she's working with closely is that this is just a clue, it's just a glimpse of what God has started doing in your ministry. Like I always tell you, you are one of the voices uh, of the supernatural, uh, whose ministry will always be characterized with miracles, signs, and wonders. I wish you God's blessings in all your endeavors and in all your ministry. The Lord bless you. Thank you. For me, I'm proud. The reason I'm proud is because for me worship is much more than what it has become in the body of Christ and I believe particularly this year for me that God is calling us back to raise an altar of worship where we can worship him in truth and in spirit so events like this to me are about allowing God to manifest himself to touch his people as he chooses. So tonight I saw a glimpse of that. And for me, that's what events like these should be about. Um, so if I'm commenting on events like these in the body of Christ, this is where we should be headed, where we can hold these events, concerts, whatever you call them, for the agenda that God has, as opposed to our own individual agendas. Um, so those are my thoughts in brief. Um, it's always difficult to say something to Miriam because I'm always saying something. So I hope <laughs> that makes sense. But um, the one thing I can say is I love how she genuinely wants to keep her heart seeking the presence of God. And I believe that she is called for a time such as this. And so she should run the race regardless of what voices are out there and what everybody else is doing to understand that she's not in a competition but that she is called and that calling has accountability and responsibility and so for me I expect and this is what I pray for that she will go even deeper as far as the presence of God is concerned that she will be used as truly a vessel of worship because when that happens then lives are changed Wow, healing in his presence. It surely has been a day worthwhile. And we know that there's been a shift in the spiritual realm. What has been happening here has been an awesome, overflowing presence of the Lord just being felt everywhere. The music was 
was just was bringing the glory of God down every musician all the people that came it has been an awesome event and we thank God for it thank you to A plus management for doing such a great job we really appreciate for that and may God richly bless you first of all I must mention Auntie Miriam Chama is just an amazing woman very very powerful worshiper and my experience today has just been quite amazing because during the week there were quite a few challenges especially um, approaching the day which is today um, I actually injured myself there's so many things that were in a way <laughs> trying to keep me from coming here but I did I traveled from Lusaka and I came here and the experience was just amazing from our dress rehearsal from sound check Everything has just been beautiful, like God has been speaking so much and I must say I have received my word, I have received my healing because as the theme was for this worship event, healing in His presence and surely, surely there's healing in His presence. Miriam Chama is a, she's a wonderful woman. I met her I think about two or three years ago the time she was recording her album at, um, I met the husband actually, the time they were finalizing her project. But then I came to meet her later on and she was just a blessing, we just connected. You know, uh, sometimes as believers when you are in ministry, like your ministries are similar, you are like in the same field, you easily connect. So she's one lady that I easily connected with and she's been such a blessing to me together with the husband and I'm so grateful that I met them. Um, about healing in his presence, the event, you know such programs are not entertainment. They are ministry and they are life changing. It's about healing, not only for the body, but for the mind, like uh, it was said earlier. So people come with different challenges. Some are broken, some are going through difficult situations. So when they come to this, a place like this, an event like this, there's an atmosphere that just lifts burdens as we worship. So it's really a great idea to keep having such events. Yeah. Tonight's experience was very unique. Uh, I personally had a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. And um, I'm glad to say that it was one of those events you attend and you feel fulfilled. You feel fulfilled to have, been, to have come and also having been part of, of it. And um, uh, I thank God and uh, bless God for what He is doing in Miriam's life and for the obedience, really. Uh, I believe that it was an instruction from God to do something like this. It was actually very prophetic. You know, sometimes you do not understand uh, what God is doing, even by organizing an event like this. But as you could see, even when the event came to an end, people were still here. It just tells you that people are hungry for God. We are hungry for God, and so. In a nutshell, what I would say is I had a great time. The, in, the, the healing, in his, healing in His Presence event was just an awesome experience for me. And uh, I hope it's not, the, it's not the last. The experience we had today, what can I say? Um, there was such a presence of God, there was such a glory. Um, there was such just, just a genuineness in the worship. And as a worshiper, I always love it when, you know, worship is not cranked or forced or you know or it's just like conjured it's just something that is coming from the heart and i think that's what we experienced today with the different you know ministers that we're ministering today i especially loved miriam's um uh set because there was just such uh i don't know what word to use there was she, she she tapped into something she she tapped into such just such this river of the glory of God and I was just enjoying myself you know just you know in the presence of God and 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 you know I I I I, I fail to put it in words and normally I am not one that you know runs out of words but I cannot articulate as well as I would like to just the what what sort of an experience this was but to sort of sum it up to just 
put it short, I think it was just such an awesome time in the presence of God. Yeah, so the, the event was beautiful and uh, it was, uh, you know, you could feel the presence of God. You know, the, the guys have done a good job and I can see um, uh, gospel music in Zambia going somewhere. You know, uh, I always say that on the Copper Belt there's just a certain presence of worship, you know, and uh, it's spreading everywhere. You know, I know it's not only Kobe Belt, but uh, it's 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 gonna spread everywhere. You know, uh, we have uh, a lot of powerful uh, ministers of the Word of God through music, and uh, as you could see yourself, and uh, to the people out there, um, I'm just saying that they should always support Zambian music. It's very important to support our own. Yeah, so that's what I have to say about the event. It was. Mm, it was beautiful. To my, to my part, I think it was a great opportunity and experience in the presence of God because of the title of the, 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 the concept that we had. It was uh, healing in His presence and I for one, I think I received my healing from God and the ministry was so powerful and it was just right on point. God did the work, the rest we, 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 we give it to God. Uh, first and foremost, I will just want to say thank you to the Almighty God for allowing us to come and enjoy the presence of the Lord. We had a great time in His presence and I want to thank you every artist who came to support this ministry. I believe this was the reason why God brought us together, that we may achieve one place on to go and revisit the altar of worship. God is calling each one of us to go back to our first love, where we love the Lord, where our worshipers can come and gather together and just bow down before him and accept him as God, our creator. All in all, I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for a successful event uh, that we had tonight. We have seen people being delivered, being healed. I know the testimony is out on the way and God has done uh, great, great things in our lives. I know that Jesus Christ and his name has been lifted up because we saw the power of God manifesting so much. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for A Plus Crew. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for Taila team. You people are amazing. May God bless you. All the people, the elects, I want to say thank you. Every person who was uh, on the cameras, the people who were doing sound, I just want to say God bless you. May God dearly repay you for all that you've done. This is beyond Miriam, it's beyond me, it's beyond A+. Plus. This is the ministry of the Lord. And it is my prayer that uh, the Lord will touch so many lives even as they listen and, and watch this DVD live recording because we know that we are experience in His presence and every person who really uh, will watch this video as they worship with us. They'll find their healing, they'll find their deliverance and the power of the Holy Ghost Shaman Freister. Thank you so much. Enjoy even as we worship together. Thank you. Chinja 